Hi everyone, I don't really know how to start this video, but um, I'm breaking my silence. <laughs> I've been silenced. I haven't uploaded anything in a while. It hasn't actually been too long, but I've been busy with some things. My grandma passed away recently. Please make dua for her. This is actually her cardigan, so if you think I'm looking like an old lady today, it's because I am. <laughs> I made a review series for It's Okay Not To Be Okay, the Korean drama. I just need to finish editing it and then upload it. If you guys still want to see that, let me know because I know the time has passed for that. It's already finished and everybody's probably talked about it, but like, if you want to know what I thought, let me know. Also, I just want to say that today we're dealing with mother nature, so if the lighting is temperamental, please understand that it's out of my control. Anyhow, today I'm really excited because I wanted to do an unboxing of some gifts that we received today. And when I say unboxing, I've already taken it out of the box to save time. Let me show you these first. There's another one. Wait, there's- oh my god, I'm missing one! So, my mum's retired work colleague and also close friend, and I guess my friend as well, Viv, sent us some presents. She does this every now and then for my mum, and she gave some stuff to me. She also got some lint chocolates for my cousin, which I'll show you in a bit. I just thought it was really sweet, really, really surprising, and honestly, she did not need to do that. If you're watching this, Viv, because this is like a thank you video for you, Thank you so much, but you really didn't need to. <laughs> I was so surprised and because of the things that she got me, I thought I would just make a video showing you. And she's really good at painting, so she made us some small cards. This is one of the ones she gave to my mom. This was the one for me. And then there's another one for my mom. Let me show you all three. So that's that and then there's stuff at the back. And obviously there's writing inside. I'm not sure if she painted the envelopes, but I think they also look really nice. And I just really appreciate it. Lighting. Come on, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. But um, yeah, I really appreciate it and I thought it was really sweet. Again, you didn't need to. But one of the themes of the gift was like crystals and rocks and stuff. And my mom got most of those gifts, but surprisingly, I like those things too and she was aware of that. So I thought I would wear this to show you. I just tried to explain something and it made zero sense, so let me try again. I have this, which is obviously a necklace, and it looks like rose quartz, but I don't think it's real. And I got this from Syria, I believe, a long time ago. However, I do have other genuine stones, like this necklace, which I think is an akik. I may have got this in Iran. It also comes in red, which is the most popular colour, and then it comes in yellow. Oh, okay, that was the weirdest angle. It comes in yellow. <laughs> this was a gift, and it's kind of blurry but it's a really nice stone. And then it comes in purple, which is the least common color. So I think this is also the same stone. I have a darker purple ring, which is that stone. And I think this one is as well. This isn't her gift, by the way. This is like my intro. I wanted to show you some other things that I have here. So I have this, which I think I got in Morocco or Turkey because I got this in Morocco. This has another half and you basically close them together. You can't really see that, but there you go. And then I have a similar one with pink. This isn't gonna work, but it would be like that. And I have both of the halves in other parts of my room. This one I got from the Natural History Museum in Oxford. And when I was younger, I collected a few of these from like safari trips and stuff like that. I dropped it, but it's fine. <sighs> this is just a normal stone that I painted a long time ago. And then on the other side, it says Jiao, which is how you cheer people on in Chinese. And then this is another stone that my cousin painted and she gave me one and she kept one. And it says May, which just means beautiful. This is really random. I wanted to show you this as well because this looks like a rose petal, but it's actually a dried lychee peel. Cool, right? So that's just some of my things to show you that I like that kind of stuff. This is one of the things that she got for my mom. She got two, but my mom's wearing one of them at the moment. These are made from genuine stones. It's called the Little Box of Love Healing Gemstone Bracelet. It's a little bit big for me, but I'm probably going to seal it anyways. I have quite a few of these kind of things. This one's actually real gemstones. In China, I remember there was a place where you could make these out of beads. None of my words are coming out properly. I remember when I was in Tianjin in China for a day trip, and there was a guy who was selling bracelets, and you could choose the colour of the beads. But those are just beads, and I made one of those, and that's probably plastic. But this is the gemstone, and I think it's so pretty. Yeah. So those are the names of the stones. And this is supposed to reduce stress and anxiety. And then there's another one, the one that my mom's wearing is for migraines and headaches because that's something she suffers from. And the colours are similar, but like slightly darker. There's a more silvery one and then a dark blue and I think a black one and then some more purple. This is what she got for my cousin. So my cousin is staying with us at the moment and she just heard my mom talking about her in passing and she asked for her name. And the next thing you know, she got this for her, which is honestly so sweet. Um, I haven't opened it, that's obviously for her. I'm not really a chocolate person to be honest. But And then for me, I'm still kind of surprised. This is why I'm making this video because I need to use them and show you what it's like. She got me something from Gemphoria. 
Gemporia, sorry, Gemporia, which I've never heard of before. I heard rattling when I was opening it and I was really surprised. You guys, it comes with an authenticity certificate card thing. Well, it says certificate, but it's card. I just can't. It comes from Brazil and it's a rose quartz, three of them in total. And basically they're makeup brushes. So, you know, I've got a lot of pink going on today. Coincidence? I think not. Oh my God, we can compare. And this is the real deal. This one's like very heavy. It has a good weight to it. And also so do the bracelets. Whereas obviously the one that I made in China was just plastic and that wasn't very heavy. I don't know what to say. They're really, really soft. The handle is so pretty. In the light, oh my gosh, in the light. Can you see that? Kind of. In the light, you can kind of see the details of the stone a bit better. It looks a little bit like marble on a worktop. So what I thought was, I did a very simple base of makeup and then I would finish it off with these brushes and some of the other things that she got me because this wasn't it. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you couldn't tell, today's just a very cold COVID day. That's why I'm wearing this. I want this to be a very chill video. You know what I mean? I have like a mini treasure chest over there on my shelf and it has loads of small stones in there. Um, maybe I'll show you another time. But this is another thing she got for my mom. She got me this eyeshadow palette, which again, I haven't heard of this brand, but when you open it up, it's really nice. Like these colors are actually very me. I know that I'm known for very bright colors, but if I were to, oh my God, oh my God. So my alarm went off just now. I was trying to keep this filming short, but I guess it's not gonna happen. <laughs> what I was trying to say is that I know I'm known for very bright looks, but on my more casual days, I like these colors a lot. So surprisingly, this is perfect. Actually, not surprisingly. I say surprisingly because I know Viv doesn't really wear makeup herself and she was just going off of what she thought I would like and she got it very correct, very well. I don't know how to say that, but she got it right, basically. I really like these colors and I haven't touched them yet, but they're so shiny. I feel like they suit Asian skin tones as well. So there's this. And then there were four different lipsticks from the same brand. And the other thing I really appreciate about this is that Viv has arthritis, but she hand wrapped everything, including the lipstick. So these were inside like, I guess a box or like wrapped up like this. And then when I opened that up, these were individually wrapped. And I was like, you didn't need to do that, but it was really sweet. And the wrapping paper was purple with silver stars on it. My cousin said I get excited easily and it's true. People say this to me all the time, but I think it's really cute. So thank you again. I've done a very simple base of makeup. I think I said that already. Let's just add a bit of color with my new brushes. And then I'll be trying the eyeshadow with some of my Morphe X Jeffree Star brushes. I haven't seen Jeffree Star's videos in a very long time, but this was a gift for my mom last, last Eid. And they are good quality, so I'm gonna use them. They're so soft, honestly. This one's like a very interesting shape. I'm not sure what that's for, but I'm gonna say let's use it for highlighter. Or even you could use it for contour because it's kind of pointed. With my simple base makeup, I just did like a little bit of foundation and kind of dotted it around. Lately, I haven't been going out much, obviously, because of COVID. But when I have, I haven't been wearing makeup. And if I have been wearing makeup, it's usually just eyeliner. Or I put my finger into the eyeshadow palette and like do that three times on each eye. Then put eyeliner on, maybe mascara. If I'm feeling fancy, I'll do my eyebrows and that's basically it. And if I'm feeling extra, extra fancy, I'll put a bit of concealer under my eyes or a bit of foundation and that's it. It's actually pretty nice. But today I'm going to use the I Love Makeup Unicorn Heart. What's this called again? Glitter thing highlighter. Wow, I'm so out of it. I haven't worn makeup in a long time. I've had this mirror since I was like four, I think. I have a picture of me using it over there. Because this is like a unicorn highlighter, it has blue and... Well, it has rainbow colours in there, but the one that shows through the most is blue. So it's a bit more of a cool toned one. Then I have this MAC blusher, which is also shimmery, but it's on the warmer side. And I'm going to use this brush. Hmm. Actually, no, I'm not going to use this brush. I'm going to use this brush. Oh my god. This brush and this thing and that background. If I moved out of the shop and just like zoomed in, that would look so nice. Let me model it for you. Is that how they do it in adverts? I can't see what I'm doing, but can, can you see that? That's the unicorn highlighter and it doesn't play. Okay, I've just been doing it in the same area. One side is very shiny. A bit of specks flying around my room, but that's okay, that's okay. Put the brushes back in their box with the authenticity certificate. It's a really nice box as well. I guess I will put on some, I can't remember the names of these things. I'm gonna put on some primer. It's the same one I always use pretty much by Urban Decay, I put that on my eyelids. And then, of course, I'm going to get the Jeffree Star brushes out. 
I don't really want to do anything fancy. I just want to like touch the colors. Here are the brushes. The black one is from a different collection. There may be a few more actually, but these are the ones that I've kept in the pouch. I think I'm going to use this pink one. Let's peel the mirror off. ASMR. Can you see my earrings? Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, they're shining. Oh my god. Wow. This is really nice. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, Viv, why, why? Let's try some of the glitter. Oh my god, the glitter comes on so nicely. And then the light comes on and shows me that it's glittery. Oh, that's a beauty spot. Have I always had a beauty spot? No way. How am I just finding that out? I know this is random, maybe I've said it before, but how many beauty spots do you have? Because I think I have seven. Because it's me, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Put it there. Put it there. Then, oh my god. I must be a star the way I'm shining. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. This one's more. Why is that? You know, I'm just gonna do it with my finger because that's easier. Honey, you're not even seeing this, are you? I need you to see this. There's some pressed glitter that comes out like specks. Oh my god. This is so nice. And the size. This is not a sponsored video. Although if you want to sponsor me, like that's cool. But actually, if you wanted to get this, it would be so good for traveling. If you like these kind of colors, because in my opinion, you can't go wrong with these colors. There were some simple ones. You can dress it up. You can wear these ones for every day. Wear these ones on its own for like a party. You can mix them together if you want it to be a bit darker. I think it's really nice. Lately, when I have been going out and I wear eyeliner, I only do it on the ends. I mean, I do that sometimes, so I might do that now as well. Oh. My mom just came in <laughs> and then it made me realize that actually this is the key, key ring for my door. And even the key thing is like a rose quartz, but obviously this is acrylic. I just wanted to point that out, point that out if it wasn't obvious that I like these things. Now you know. But back to the eyeliner. Okay, so this mirror was good for five-year-old me, but it's a bit small for me now. I mean, it's okay, I guess. Ooh. Oh my god, it's really coming together. It's coming together, isn't it? I got that. <laughs> Oopsie, sorry. We're basically almost done. All that's left to show you from this look are the lipsticks. My mom and my cousin, they probably wouldn't wear these colours as much because I was opening it in front of them. But they're very me colours, so there's this one. There's this one, which isn't as obvious on camera, but it's like a pinky purple. I used to have one like this, so this is actually really nice. Then, there's a super bright red. Oh, that's really pretty. It looks like plastic, like I just want to touch it, but I don't want to touch it at the same time and ruin it. Look, it's real. <laughs> so stupid. And then there's this one, I can't remember. Oh, uh, yep, this one is probably the most, you know, quote unquote everyday. Mom, come here for a second. So these are the colors all together. Which lipstick shall I wear? That one, okay. This is really nice. Like these colors just feel so fancy, mature, expensive, kind of like me. <laughs> but this is like a rose pink. This is a rose pink. That's what this is. Okay, rose pink with a little bit of red, but like, yeah, dark rose pink. As you can see, I didn't line my lips because I rarely do, even though I have lots of lip liners. If you want to line your lips, but you can't be asked to get your lip liner, use the pointy edge of your lipstick. And not all lipsticks are this shape, so you can use the sides, if anything. And do that. Wow. Who is that mature lady? Who is that woman? I'm so scared that I don't close these properly. Close it. This is a very wearable, everyday look. Do you want to see it properly? I don't know. I guess that's the end of my look. I hope you enjoyed this. It was kind of random. Thank you so much to Viv. If you enjoyed this video, please leave some nice comments for her because she deserves them. This was really cute. Thank you so much. I'll definitely be using these things if I ever wear makeup anytime soon, that is. I will be posting more videos soon, I hope. I'm not really in a rush, but if you do want to see the review of It's Okay Not To Be Okay, let me know and I'll do that soon. I'm going to be filming something for someone else tomorrow, so maybe I'll share that with you when it comes out. Sis, drop your skin routine. Uh, Miss Ambassador, my bad. North Korean ones are savoury, whereas South Korean ones are sweet. So over here we have a more pastel pink and cream hanbok. Perfect. And until next time, I don't have a phrase. Um, good luck world, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I want to make some cooking videos soon, some more cooking videos. So maybe look out for that because that's going to be very interesting. Have a great day. Stay safe. And um, 
and um oh i know i know okay stay safe have fun with your life i guess stay safe and if you were to hypothetically get a dwarf hamster or if you knew someone who was which name do you prefer Susie or esme let me know in the comments below okay bye